dictation at 160 words per minute on the need for accuracy. Ready? Here we go. There is one thing that I wish to wish specifically to impress upon the speed aspirant and that is the importance of geometrical and theoretical accuracy. It is very desirable that the student should be able to write quickly, but speed valueless unless it's valueless unless it is accompanied by the ability to produce legible notes. It may not be possible to write at the rate of 180 or 200 words per minute with that degree of precision and correctness that may be characterized by notes written at half that speed. But it is possible, as have been demonstrated by high-speed writers on numerous occasions, to write phonetically at 200 words per minute in such a manner that the notes can be read with ease. If the commencement of this practice, the student makes a determined effort to, from the phonetic character, as perfectly as circumstances allow, he will find, as he increases his dexterity of the pen, there will be very little loss of legibility. In the early days of his practice, there is often a tendency for the student to develop a very careless style of writing and to form the shorthand much larger than is desirable. This is definitely noticeable when a definite effort is made to put on speed, however, this is a tendency that should be resisted from the outset. The student should always endeavor to write correctly and clearly so that at any time, even after the lapse of months or years, his notes can be read without hesitation. The student who keeps this in mind throughout the whole course of his practice and makes a determined resolve not to sacrifice legibility for speed, he will never regret that re resolution. For though in the early stages it may involve expenditure of more time and labor than lethargic students may be exposed not to devote to it, in the long run he will find that he is able to do greater work and to do that work with greater ease and less mental strain. High speed is not brought about simply by the quickness of the hands, although manual dexterity is an important factor. The secret of fast writing is to become familiar with a shorthand character and a large increasing number of words and more phonographic vocabulary is extended the easier it becomes with to write rapidly and accurately. Everyone who wishes to qualify as a verbatim writer should read through a large portion, if not the whole of a note he takes for practice and should read and study every periodical he can lay his hands on. Reading practice is part is a part of shorthand writer's training, and that is that is frequently neglected. Though it shows that those that have been through the mill shows that its important can not be overestimated. The difficulty with most writers is that not so much that they cannot form the shorthand characters quickly enough, but they that they cannot call to freedom with sufficient rapidity they wish to write. If the student knows what to write, he usually finds that practice enables him to wield the pen with necessary freedom, without doubt. If that, if not the best means of registering the outlines on the brain is afforded by reading practice, indeed quite as much importance should be attached to reading and well-written phonography as to writing dictation. I was a little behind there, but it was probably about at 138, 139. Okay, see you in the next practice. I'll be doing this at 180 also.